What's up guys and how's it flopping today? I want to show you how to make a 3D pirate game in Scratch. Today we're going to at least make the 3D matrix. We're going to make the 3D boat. Maybe make the 3D islands. Maybe make the, the scrolling matrix. Uh, but we're, we're definitely going to make the boat. And let, let's hop right into it. So the first thing we're going to do in our new Scratch project is obviously... Drop a 30 ton nuke on the scratch cat, so let's just do that. <laughs> of course, deleting the scratch cat works too, but it's less fun. Now, let's name the project something nice like a uh, 3D pirate game. And now we can start making the 3D matrix. I'm going to let future me explain that. Here is how we're going to make Scratch. Here's how we're going to make a 3D boat in Scratch, even though Scratch can't render 3D things. We're going to trick it. So first we have just a boat, right? That is 3D. We have to trick Scratch into rendering it, even though it can only render 2D things. So we're going to do it how a 3D printer does it. We have three parts. The hull of the boat, mast of the boat, and the mast with a sail on it. To make, let's start with the hull of the boat, because that's the base. To make Scratch render this thing, we're going to actually just rem render the top of it, like this. And then, I'm going to draw this bigger, actually. On top of it, we're going to render it again, and again, and again, layers and layers, until eventually, it looks like this. We're going to repeat this with the sail, and the, the mask, okay. So, let's, let's hop right into it. Thanks, future me, who's technically past me. Okay, so, first step is we have to make our boat. We're actually just going to make the first layer. So if we think about it like this, here we have our first layer to our boat, which I'm realizing now is backwards. So it's, just, it's the first layer. Squish a bit. We can call this floor. And it will probably be like brown for that nice woody texture. Okay, then, above that, we have, oh, it's also important we get rid of the outline for this. Then we have just, will be just the outline. So we can actually set this to 10, or 20, set the color to the inside, and make the inside transparent. And these will be walls. And we're actually going to make our mast. So we can actually make it a slightly different color but, and just put a circle in there. And then we can go up to here. This will be just the mast. And then we have the sail. And to do this, we can just make a white line and put it over here. I'm actually going to go to the stage and make the background blue for that C color. Just perfect. Uh, now we have to make our code. Since we don't want to, um, since we don't want to have to use clones, we're going to get the pen extension. It's right over here. And when green flag clicked, erase all. Oh, let's pen down a bit. Erase all. <clears throat> now, we have to make a custom block. This will be called draw 3D. Oh, and run for the run without screen refresh. 
Now, we'll do forever broadcast new message. We'll call this draw 30 again. And then, when I receive draw 3D, we'll do the code draw 3D. Let's actually put this over here. Now, we're going to put in race all, switch costume to, we're going to do the one on the bottom, which is floor. We're going to repeat, start with just three. Uh, change Y. I don't know why my scratch looks a bit weird. I'm just going to uh, save now, reload. Um, change Y by one and stamp. Oh, and we're also going to have a go to zero zero at the top. Now, if we run that, it's not really anything. We're actually, I'm actually going to point towards mouse pointer and it still doesn't look like anything, but we can actually change that by adding a very slight change it still won't look like much but it'll be something on. clear graphic effects at the top and change brightness effect by let me just do two and we can even set brightness effect to minus 40. now right now it doesn't look like anything but it, as you can see if i do repeat 30 <coughs> the extra layers <clears throat> reveal the 3D. But for now, let's set it back to 3. Now, we are going to duplicate the switch costume over here, put it here, and we will do walls. We're actually going to do 10 because we need a lot more walls. We can even do, you know, I'm going to set size to 50 because I think I made the boat too big. Um, and I'll actually do 12. Now we can duplicate that again. This time we can do mast. Now we can even optimize our code with a next costume instead of a mast. Switch out to mast. So let's actually do that. Next costume. Except for the first one. We need the first one. Um, I'm going to do this to 15. Next costume. Repeat 15. Um, set this to 30. Now it is getting too bright. So, oh, this is also a bit too big. So, we're just going to shrink it right here. And 30. We, uh, we, we, we could make it look uh, a, little, a little bit better. Add a little bit more of that delicious optimization if we just grab a um, light variable. We can do for the sprite only. For that juicy optimization. I'm going to delete the my variable. Because I, I never need it. Um, and we're just going to set light. Let's set it to 1. And everywhere we have change brightness effect by. We can replace it with the 2 with light. And yeah that's already looking better. I'm actually going to increase this from 10 to 20. That's looking... Pretty all right. You gotta look at the camera, okay? The camera's not gonna look at you. Just no, don't sleep on the job. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, and just let me know in the comments and like it. And then in the next episode, we can, come on, yes. yes. In the next episode, we can add scrolling and islands. Uh, in the episodes after that, we can add actual pirate features for a pirate game. All in 3D, of course. Alright, see you in the next one.